Hello, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been almost two weeks, I think. Yeah, that the week previously I was busy working on the you know the bill, kind of wrapping up everything for the final stage, and uh, I had some kink going on with the. Uh, just a few minor thing, not big thing, but you know, once you kind of, you know, get to the the end of the bill, you you want to make it look nice, right? But anyway, I'm gonna share with you uh, some of the the new update that I did to it to make the final stage. All right, and I hope you enjoy it. I was gonna do a fine uh, <coughs> a van tour. Venture, but I will wait for that until I'm taking a trip to test this bill out. So that will be a true, you know, venture. All right, let's go check this out. So as you can see with this setup, the only way I can sleep on this bed is the head will be on this side, which is fine as it is, but I have a tendency to, when I sleep to push my pillow up the edge. So I used to have a headboard up here. So today we are going to try to integrate this into this, but you can see there's a problem. If you're going to have a fixed headboard here, and when you swing it up, we might have issue with heating up the hidden stuff up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, make it kind of foldable type. Plus I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner because before I integrate some storage and panel control into it. So I might have to remove this to make it a little bit uh, thinner profile. And then I'm probably going to move these controls somewhere else. Maybe somewhere there. Or maybe down here. All right. Let's get to this.
Okay, so we are done with the headboard. So next step is what to do with this, right? These are very hard to make these whole. It take a while for me to make, so I'm not gonna waste this piece. Plus I cannot install this anywhere else, but uh, hmm, I don't know. Could be, this could be over here, but it will block my, uh, you know, access to my kitchen stuff. Maybe this can go over here, in this corner here, and this will go down here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop this part off and probably chop this off here, make it nice evenly around and then install it over there. All right, I bring you back when I get it cut. Okay, in case you're wondering why we are sitting in the dark in my van, well, the only thing to show you what I do with my lighting. So first of all, I usually use this lighting here to light up in here. If I don't, I can always use my uh, little uh, fairy light here. One there, one over here, which is very low power use. Let me turn this off. Here you can see. It have enough light for me to do it too. But what if I want something fancy? I just installed something new today. So check this out. So if I decide to have a little mood light, I now have LED light, which can do flash, all kind of uh, pattern. Switching pattern. Or it could be uh, could be void activate. As you can see, if I talk, it's flash. Pretty cool. I can dim it. Choose different color. Let's see how it all hooked up. So the power is, unfortunately, this thing used 28, 24 volt. So I had to use the power supply from my uh, in-house battery. It run all the way across, all the way around. Way in the back over here. You can see some of it right here. So you can see light in the back here. And this is the view from the back here. You can see the light go all the way around. Just surrounding the whole thing. This thing is permanent and not permanent. Semi. I still can remove them if needed to. So this side, I have to use blue. Some of them have a uh, uh, plastic bracket. And that's it. That's my lighting, my fancy lighting. It actually will dance to the music. If you remember my previous bed, I have a head bolt, right? But with this, it's kind of awkward to, you know, to have a head bolt with this way, with the seat in. Because this is more like a passenger mode right now. These, these two seats will back, but when I'm traveling, these are out. So that will get plenty of room inside here. So what I did is I built one and put a little slot in there. So I don't really use this when it's in this mode. Of course, this is just for temporary take a nap, so it's no no big deal. I can lay like like this without a little without a pillow. Cause I like to sleep with my head a little bit tilted up. So nothing changed much with the with the bed, except for this. Of course, this won't fold up, but without a seat, it will fold up. As you can see, you know, on the, during that, uh, that build, you know, for, for normal traveling, all right? So I was gonna move this down here, but in the process, 
some of the cables kind of jacked up and then try to figure out how to hook it back up but i found now the voltage to come out of here is not the same on both sides see these are uh, different end here and obviously you can see this is much thicker wire compared to this so with thicker wire let's see <clears throat> the last time i test 11.8 come out of this but only 10.9 coming out of this so you, i lost 0.9 volt because of thick wire so i might i might downgrade the size of the wire so that that was a mystery i never understood why i'm keep having low voltage coming out of my uh, junction box here back there Oh, that's distribution box. All right. So one of the major, remember my uh, inverter down there? It's kind of hard. It, you don't want to leave the inverter on all the time because that's will drain your batteries quickly. I mean, slowly it will drain it to empty. So you want to leave it off. But this inverter does come with a remote. So here it is. I move it up to here. And this is actually, by the way, I did re, re, uh, restructure this. So it holds all my uh, cooking utensil, cooking ware, the stove right there. And, the, and this one, the last time I show you, I built this. It's amazing what can hold in here. That's my cutting tray. Look how big this pan is. I did measure. I was like, when I received, I was like, whoa, is that going to fit in there? <laughs> Not only it fit in there, it fit other things too. Remember this for cooking my, uh, wrapping my egg roll. I have three steel plates in here. I have some mitten in here. So it's amazing how this little, uh, cubicle i mean what you call it pigeonhole <laughs> can fit that many stuff so you can see those uh <coughs> special light led light those are actually uh, uh weatherproof led light you can leave it out in the rain you know out in the element when when you want to some of the led cheap led you won't be able to do that but these are protected inside these uh, little, I don't know, jacket. All right. So right there, I will kind of leave it like that right now because I don't need a whole lot of storage space because up here, it will be my normal duffel bag right there, my uh, air fryers right there, and all my stuff, my auxiliary power, my water. Of course, down here will be my uh, dry food. My fridge will be here. So there's no need. I don't need any more stories than that. All right. I might put some uh, some mood light there that run off the USB. You can have, I guess you have to wait until the uh, Final vent tool to see where everything should be. It make more sense when I'm travel. I will load everything in, so that make uh, more sense to you how it all work together. All right, it's been it's been a while. I've been sick for a whole week this week, so I'm in recovery already. I'm on a mending right now. So thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next time. All right, bye for now.